Mount Batur, January 1st, 2022. This year I summited an active volcano in Bali called Mount Batur for a sunrise hike to ring in the new year instead of the normal debauchery I normally get myself into on New Year's Eve. This hike was incredible. We'll get into all of that in just a second, but do me a huge favor, smash that like button for me for the YouTube algorithm. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more Bali videos. I'm gonna be making a ton of them and stick around to the end. And I'm gonna tell you all about the Mount Batur Mafia and why you don't wanna do this hike without a guide if you value your safety. Let's get into it. So we made it to Mount Batur. We met our guide, his name's Big. Big, big guy. It's kinda of funny because it's kinda of short, but uh, it's really dark. Right now we're just stopped at a little viewpoint. We've got bikes coming up and down, bringing in the stragglers. So we're out of the forest now. It's actually a lot easier to breathe. Our guide was saying that's because the um, the trees suck the oxygen out of the air at night and then they release more during the day. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a lot easier to breathe since we got out of the forest. Also, our guide was saying that uh, before the pandemic, he was giving about nine tours a week. And now, unfortunately, he's down to less than one a month. I think there's a lot of guides and they rotate between the guides. And so there's probably hikes coming up every day, but you know, just very, very few. So I'm guessing they just rotate between the guides and it's, uh, you know, just a lot less people coming here, unfortunately, than there used to be. Was the eruption in 2000 destructive? Did it hurt lots of homes and buildings? Uh, not so big. Uh. This is only fire and sometimes like a rookie. Uh, 1994 to 2000? Yeah. Six. The whole time it was smoking? Yes, wood fire. Wow. 552, sunrise will be right around the corner. It. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, it is very, very cloudy up here, but uh, we are just able to start seeing some of the ground over there. And the sunrise, we could see a little bit of it on the way up, but I'm really just hoping this fog goes away so we can catch the sunrise still. But right now, I guess our guide is gonna cook us some food over steam from the volcano. Is this where the steam comes? Yeah. Where? This one? Yeah, it gets hot. It gets really hot. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that feels good. It does feel good, doesn't it? Standing here is kind of like being in a sauna. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where did you put them? Yeah. There? A couple of egg grass. <laughs> so right here we have our eggs and bananas cooking yeah. bananas. under there. To block the heat and put the grass in it. Mm. Sauna with a beautiful yeah. view. Yeah. Here, I'll help you. Oh, and the sunrise. Oh. I'm gonna take my drone and just fly straight towards that. What up? Ooh, hot. You brought some Prosecco with? <laughs> it looks like it might be a chicken. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we have a two. Oh my gosh. Two? I guess it is New Year's Eve after all. Not New Year's, Year's Day. Day. It's kind of New Year's Eve, it's so early. Cheers. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Well, I had my head in the sky, flying my drone, getting some good shots of Mount Batur and the surrounding area. Unfortunately, I missed capturing a very cool moment on the ground. So while I was flying my drone, this guy came into our little mountain house right here. He literally ran in here on the table, grabbed food out of people's hands, and uh, ran up to the roof to eat it. <laughs> she, actually, I think it was a she. Now I think he's eyeing up my phone. Mm. He's not getting my phone. I'm putting this thing away. It was relaxing for one second. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> he's got it. He's got it right there. After that, we hired a full-time bodyguard. She's scaring away the monkeys with the, uh, she's ready. This whole area is beautiful, beautiful fields over here. Lake Batur, we got Mount Agoon over there. This whole area is actually a super volcano. The sun has risen and now officially feels like 2022. It no longer feels like yesterday. And it's time to make our way down the mountain. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Everything will be all right if I'm standing next to you. Hiking down Mount Batur is way better than hiking up Mount Batur because you can actually take in the surroundings. You can't really see anything on the way up. Down, you just have the most beautiful views. Yeah, this is the toughest part right here. All these rocks. 
this is what the majority of the hike is like. Just nice, easy, nice, easy trail. If you don't want to hike, a dirt bike can actually transport you one way for 20 bucks. We got a whole bunch of volcanic rock down here. Up here, you mean? Down here. I'm looking down at the ground. It's good for oh, your back. Oh, that's bed. really good. That's really good. Yeah. Oh, very refreshing. That was this leaf right here? Yeah. Don't mind me, just uh, sniffing eucalyptus over here. There's a ton of farms and homestays at the bottom of the mountain. We saw one of the biggest jackfruits we've ever seen. And once you're done with the hike, you can uh, come over to the bathroom and check out the fish gaze into their hunger holes. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I had an absolute blast hiking Mount Batur. I highly recommend you go. But that being said, I need to talk to you guys yet about the Mount Batur Mafia. Because, uh, well, let me just say, I am very fortunate that my friend Dennis set that this up. He's like, hey Adam, there's five of us going to climb Mount Batur tomorrow. Do you and Hadley want to come with us? And I was like, heck yeah, we do. So we did it. Um, we each paid 200,000 rupees, so like $14 per person uh, to do it because we had a group of seven. But um, if it was me trying to set this up, I would have looked online to see if we could do it without a guide. And the answer is yes, you can do it without a guide. It's a public mountain. It's not a private mountain. A guide is not required, but there's actually a, the Mount Batur Mafia that patrol the mountain that um that beat people up well first of all they don't start by beating people up they try to make it so that a guide is required and then um try to make it so that anyone without a guide cannot actually pass and cannot hike the mountain and then if someone refuses to do so and still does attempt to hike the mountain without a guide then they will beat people up and there's countless incidences of that online if you just google mount Batur mafia so the only reason I'm saying this is because I am a person that would normally try to do this without a guide if I was organizing it. Fortunately, I had never, you know, I was just going along with a group of people that already had a guide set up. Um, but I'm just trying to save one of you guys from going there and doing it without a guide. So my advice is just hire a guide or don't go at all if you don't like that. Um, not trying to change anything, not talking bad about it. It's just it is the way it is. And uh, just trying to Keep some of you safe out there if you guys are watching this and uh, choosing to do it or not. So, all right, guys, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Peace.